Hello and welcome to yet another recap. This is the show where I look at your comments from the past week and react to it. The latest episode of Let's Plant was episode 84, titled The Fastest Way to Propagate Your Succulents. Not really. <laughs> if you've seen that episode, then you know that I'm being a bit tongue-in-cheek. I was making fun of myself because I was supposed to create a propagation series of videos for spring, but instead of propagating, I went out and bought new plants. And I thought it would be great to give it an official name, the money method. <laughs> Let's start looking at the comments. So first is from Dennis Esplana saying, once you start, the buying never stops. <laughs> Same goes for me. It mellowed a bit over the years, but still can't help myself from getting a plant or two every now and then. Same here, man. Same here. From Betzling Sia. Another great video, Chuck. Thank you so much, Melissa. From Kathy Gilbert. Happy Father's Day. Enjoy the plant haul. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for calling it as it is. It, it was a plant haul video, basically. From She is Lupe. I've never heard of so many different echeverias. They all look beautiful. You should check out my Instagram. You'll be in for a surprise. I think I'm at day 134 now, 35. And like what I keep saying in my outro, I post a photo of an Echeveria every day. I think I only repeated one so far. So we're looking at over 130 different types of Echeverias so far. From Susan V, music, thumbs down. You can't please everyone then. From Sheena Cloton. I absolutely love your videos. Would love to see a nice long video showing the entire garden. Happy Father's Day. Yes, I think we are due a garden tour, but I haven't been working on that for the past few weeks because um, we just got out of winter and in winter the plants are not looking so great, especially my echeverias. Most of my collection is echeveria. They are dormant in winter. They dry out towards the end of winter. And I would have to wait until maybe the end of spring or mid spring before I could show could I could before I could show them to you because it takes a bit of time for them to recover from all the damage and grow new leaves. So yeah. From Modern Botanicals. Love the whole chuck. I've got a show coming up here in California. You should definitely get to see what I got on Facebook. Hey, send me the link. <laughs> From Succulent Fame, they are a great addition to your collection. I'm just about to share my Echeveria Sagita on Instagram tomorrow morning. I wish I had the same expansive yard as you do. I really do. <laughs> yeah, this was posted about four days ago. So the photo is on Instagram now. Yeah, you should check out her Instagram at Succulent Fame. Her Sagita was looking really nice. From TJ. Awesome method, Chuck. I have a feeling my wallet is ripe for some money method propagation in a few weeks time. Looking forward to your content this growing season. Make sure to show me what you're getting. From Rowena Pingol, money method. That's different. I think everyone knows this method of propagation. From Zany Zana 66 this is my most successful form of propagation. I'm not near such an amazing nursery though, so most of my babies come to me by mail. I love the parcel delivery dude. It's hard to hide newbies from my partner when they come this way though. <laughs> yeah, thankfully I'm over that stage now. I no longer have to pull from our joint account, so I'm safe. From Blissful Box, Money Method. What a nice way to treat yourself. Happy Father's Day. Love your new plants. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see them grow. It's spring now, so I'm... I usually, I like buying things in spring because it's not too long a wait before they start growing. So, yeah, expect a lot more plants to come here soon. From Nilza. There you are, making me jealous again. Bad boy, you. I do have a huge Echeveria wishing list, but really I've never even heard about mostly Echeverias you bought. They are all amazing, Chuck. Congrats. Nice seeing Zach so happy. Yeah. Our garden, our rules. 
It's funny how you're envious of my collection because I'm envious of the collection of people over in the States, especially those in the West Coast USA, near Southern California. The collection there is so nice. My dream as an Echeverria collector is to be able to visit the, the right nursery. You know? Because a lot of my collection, a lot of the stuff on my wish list are Dick Wright's hybrids. Another from Nilza. Where are your Semper Vibums, by the way? I can't remember seeing any on, any on your videos. Don't you like them? I just love them, Chuck. I just got the Sidum Semper Vivoids and it is a pretty rosette as well. I also have a few Sacrifagas. Do you have any? I have some shade loving plants and here they are. Unfortunately, I like Echeverias more than I like them, so I tend to buy more of Echeveria, you know? If I have a limited budget, which I do, then I'd rather spend them more on Echeveria than on Semper Vivums and Haworthias, Gasteras and the like. But I do buy some once in a while. Although to be honest, I haven't bought any since... I think it was last year. Last last summer I guess I don't know I can't remember when the last time I bought any but yeah Echeverias first from Aneta S ha 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 I love this way of propagation technique it is most common I think I was waiting patiently for this kind of videos shopping and learning my plant excitement is so high right now I thank you and happy planting to your new additions yeah I I don't usually do plant hauls because, you know, I don't usually go out and buy. But when I do, I spend quite a lot. That could be a meme. I don't usually go out and buy plants, but when I do, I buy a lot. Another from Aneta. By the way, thanks a lot for a Sajita theme. Double branches of flowers blooming are quite a good clue and here very visual to identify. So mine this summer won't give me flower stuff yet. Yeah, I was supposed to create a comparison video for it but I don't have the time to record right now. It's getting late. I'm not sure if the weather haven't checked the weather forecast yet but if tomorrow is good then I'll see. I'll look into sneaking a bit of filming. We'll see. From Succulent Cravings by Vic Villacorta. The curse of being a collector. So true. I've been cursed since the beginning of 2018. <laughs> There's no way out, man. <laughs> From Rudy's Succulent Obsession. Love the new plant acquisitions. My goodness, your garden has amazing succulents. I love them all. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Rudy, and I'm glad you like it. From Earth's Geomancer. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Have you heard of Echeveria Arctic Ice from Altman Plants? Unfortunately, no. I haven't been really looking at the selection of the new selection coming out from the other side of the world. Mainly because there's no way for me to import them. <laughs> um, the, the biosecurity here in Australia is so strict that it's so hard, if not impossible, to get new plants from outside Australia. So, you know. I better not tempt myself by looking internationally, you know? Although you make a good point, it's nice to see what's available on the other side of the world. I just have to resign myself to the fact that I won't be able to get them, at least not anytime soon. So there you go. From Given to Grow, purple nursery pots, they need to bring those to Canada. <laughs> so not only was that so not only was that the most dramatic nursery trip ever with that music, but this has to be the biggest succulent haul I've ever seen. Hmm. You picked up some great ones. Love seeing them all. It's still hot as heck here. Today it is in the 40s again. I wonder what happened to our autumn in Canada. I think it shrunk to just November now. Crazy! Anyways, happy spring to you. I hope it gets cold there soon because 40 sounds so bad. It's still spring here, but I, I'm i not excited for summer because I hate the high 30s, the 40s. Ugh. And about the biggest succulent haul, better wait until the October event, the Succulent Society Show, because I spend a lot on those events. You should have seen my episode 20, I think, with the succulent show last year. I brought home quite a lot. 
and I think I might be spending even more than that this year. I don't know. From Monolop. Oh, I'd love to go there. I'm watching your videos right now because I couldn't buy jelly beans in the market while having class. Also, happy belated Father's Day. Thank you so much and I hope you get your jelly beans soon. And another one? Whoa, the Echeveria bike holder looks like a mini Aeonium. I want one. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It actually looks like an Aeonium with that very leggy stock. I'm not sure if it's the characteristic of the bike holder to grow so tall, but now that I think about it, yeah, so far all of the ones I've seen are quite leggy. Maybe they grow that way. From Isa Zidlauska. Beautiful plants, Chuck. Always room for a few more. Yes. <laughs> as soon as I fill up horizontal, I just have to go vertical. And finally, the pinned comment from Shia Wase, the money method. Tears of joy. So that's most of the comments on episode 84. And I'm glad that you liked that episode despite the clickbait title. It got lots of um, it received lots of attention compared to my previous episode, so <laughs> I'm really happy. But at the same time, I don't wish to keep doing clickbait because I myself hate clickbait. So I'm sorry that's just a once-off, but who knows. You might have noticed that I've started uploading stuff to my Facebook, the Let's Plant videos. I'd like to think of it as a way to celebrate the first anniversary of Let's Plant. Because Let's Plant started in September, I think the 20th or 21st last year, 2017, and we're approaching that date now. So, so with the days leading to the first anniversary, I'm uploading my old Let's Plant episodes onto Facebook. So from now on, I'll be having them cross-posted to both YouTube and Facebook. Because I do acknowledge that a lot of my external viewers from YouTube uh, are coming from Facebook. So. This in particular refers to my friends from the Philippines because they tend to stay within Facebook, you know? So in order to give everyone the chance to watch my episodes, I'm uploading them to both YouTube and Facebook. In terms of upload schedules, I'm going to stick with the same schedule for YouTube for Let's Plant and that would be Tuesday morning my time. As for Facebook, I'm going to stagger it a bit. I'm going to upload two days after, so that would be Thursday. And normally I would have Recap, the show that you're watching right now, come out every Sunday night, every Saturday night rather. But I'm thinking that I should move it further out one day to Sunday evening rather than Saturday evening. Because that would give Facebook users a chance for their comments to appear in the Recap as well. I'm uploading them manually right now because I'm updating the thumbnails as well. A lot of them have old thumbnails and I'm not really happy with those, you know. So, but anyway, by the time that the next episode comes out, I'm really hoping I'm hoping that I would be done uploading them all. It's still a few days away from now, so hopefully I have enough time to upload. It's not going to be a small feat though, because each episode is at least, especially the older ones, because they used to be much longer. Each episode is about three or four gigabytes, because they're full HD. Nowadays, my episodes would just be one to two gigs, so yeah. That should give you an idea how long it takes for me to upload them. <laughs> In any case, thank you so much for watching the recap. I'll see you in the next episode.